Hi friends, today let us take up the study of uh, arithmetic progressions. Arithmetic progression, which is another chapter in your syllabus. It is shortly called as AP, arithmetic progression. Now, uh, in this, again, you will get questions about 10 marks, 10 marks questions you will get in this. And uh, you have to do problems on this. Now, first let us see what is a progression, what is meant by arithmetic progression. If numbers are arranged in a particular manner we say they are in progression there are different types of progression arithmetic progression is one of them now in this let us see i have written some numbers like this a set of numbers one two three four five six these are natural numbers natural numbers you know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc, etc, like that, if I arrange it. Now, these are said to be arranged in an arithmetic progression or arithmetic series. Now, what is the meaning of this? Here, there is a pattern. What is the pattern? See, the second number minus the first number, that is 2 minus 1, is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. That is second number minus first number. The difference between these two is 1. Now you take third and second number. 3 minus 2. If you subtract 2 from 3, you again get a difference of 1. If you uh, subtract 3 from 4, again you get 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. Now, this we say there is a common difference. There is a common difference between any number here and the preceding number. The number before that, earlier than that. There is a common difference. This is called as a arithmetic progression. Any such arrangement is called as an arithmetic progression or arithmetic series. Now, if it ends at one particular point, you say it is a finite series or finite progression. If it ends, if it doesn't end, if I put etc, 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 like that, it is an infinite series. That is, there is no end to it. It can go any, any up to any length. So, like that, if you arrange, then it is called as arithmetic progression. Now, here, the first number of the series or first number of the progression is denoted by A, A. And the common difference, this is called the common difference. The difference between one number and the number preceding that number is called as the common difference that is that is represented by D. So A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, etc, etc. You can write it. This is general form of writing it. Here, it need not be increasing only, it can be decreasing also. For example, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, etc, etc. Now, minus 2, minus of minus 1 will be equal to minus 2 plus 1, that is minus 1. The difference is minus 1. Similarly, minus 3, if you subtract minus 2 from minus 3, minus half minus 2, then it will be minus 1. Similarly, minus 4, minus half minus 3, it will be minus 1. So, the common difference will be, can be negative or positive. A also can be either negative or positive. Now, such an arrangement is called as a arithmetic progression. Now here, this can be generally represented by A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 4D like that. Now a little consideration will tell us 
that 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 the any required term see here i had written that general series the first term was a the second term was second term was a plus b where d is the common difference this third one is a plus 2d the fourth one is a plus 3d the fourth fifth one will be a plus 4d etc etc now if i want some nth term these are called terms first term second term third term if i want nth term that is n may be anything it may be eighth term ninth term twelfth term fifteenth term twentieth term whatever it is you can nth term now that will be a n so this will be equal to a plus n minus 1 times d here this is a relationship in which there are four quantities which are there a n that is nth term a that is first term then n number uh, the number of the term and d common difference now in the from this relationship if we know if we know any three of them the fourth one can be calculated they can do any three of them and we can we can be asked to find out the fourth quantity from that relationship see here a a comma a plus 2 minus 1d second term will be 2 minus 1d third term will be a plus 3 minus 1 times d that is 2d this one then a plus 4 minus 1d so a general term will be a n will be equal to a plus n minus 1 times d like this this is a relationship which from on which we can get a problem this is one problem then another problem is they can ask the sum of n terms of an ap sum of n terms n terms of an ap means of an arithmetic progression or AP. This is denoted by SN. Sum means, suppose I want to add here four, four terms. One, two, three, four. I want to find out the sum of four, four terms. What will be the sum of four terms? Then we can do it by this formula. N by 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 times d this this formula these two formulae will be used in this arithmetic progression one to find the nth term and the other one to find the sum of n terms any given n terms n means it can be 50 terms 40 terms 20 terms anything 25 terms any any number of terms they can ask us to find out the sum of the given progression so these two formulae you have to remember one is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d and the other one is s n is equal to n by 2 plus you know n by 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 times d now <coughs> we can take a problem here we can take a problem i'll take straight from the question paper a, a problem I'll take a problem find find the sum of first 20 terms of arithmetic series he has given one arithmetic series find This problem from, a, from your old question paper I am taking. He says, find the sum of first 20 terms. That is, n is 20. What we have to find out is Sn. 
that is S20. What is S20? We have to find out. Uh, the series is 5, 5, 10, 15, etc. Using suitable formula. Using suitable formula. Now A is here 5. Now D is that is common difference. A is the first term that is 5. D is common difference. You find out the difference between these two or these two or these two like that. It will be 10 minus 5 that is also 5. This problem is for 2 marks. 2 marks. Now 5. Now you have to write the formula here. S20. This is what is asked. Is equal to n by 2 into a. a plus, uh, sorry, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. This is the formula. You have to first write the formula. So n is, because it is 20, 20 by 2 into 2a, 2 into 5 plus n, n is 20 minus 1 into d is again 5. Both a and d are 5 here. It need not be like that always. So this will be 2, 20 by 2 you can divide it, it will be 10, it is divisible. So you can divide it, it is 10. 2 into 5 is 10 plus 20 minus 1 is 19, 19 into 5. Now 10 into 10 plus 19 into 5 is 95, 90, uh, 95, 20 into 5 is 100, so 19 into 5 will be 95, so this will be 10 into 105, so this will be, the product of these two will be 1050, 1 into 105 is 105 followed by 10, so this is the answer, this will fetch you 2 marks. It will fetch you two marks. So you should. This is the given series, and he wants you to find the sum of first twenty terms. That's a straight problem with no twist in that. So you have to. You can directly get the apply the formula, use the formula, substitute, and get the answer. After that, only you have to do the calculation. That is for two marks. Next. In the same paper, I will see. In the same paper, Here, yeah, there is a problem for 5 marks. So when there are 5 marks, naturally it will be little tougher, a little tougher. This is the last question which will be for 5 marks, 38th question. The common difference of two different arithmetic progressions are equal. So there are two APs. The common difference of both the APs is same. The first term of the first progression is 3 more than the first term of the second progression. Now let us take the first progression, the first one as A, uh, comma, A plus B, A plus B, uh, A plus 2D, a plus 3d etc etc this is the first one the second progression the second progression is let us say a dash a dash a dash plus b a dash plus 2d a dash plus 3d etc etc d is common 
D is same for both, but the first term is different. Now, the first term of the first progression, that is A is 3 more than A dash, that is A is equal to A dash plus 3, correct? Is 3 more than the first term of the second progression. The second progression is this. I have taken this as the second progression. So A is A dash plus 3. Right. Now, if the seventh term of the first progression, that is A7 here, A7 in this is seventh term of the progression is 28. A7 is 28. And uh, the and eighth term of second progression, eighth term of the second progression is twenty nine. Twenty nine. Find then find the both find both the different arithmetic progressions. That is, you have to find the value of this progression and the value of this progression. It carries five marks. This problem carries 5 marks. So it has 5 plus 3, 5 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 8 marks. Usually it will be, you will get about around 8 marks. This time in June 2021 examination, you may get a little more. Now, now, A7 for the first one, A7 will be A plus 6d that is n minus 1d a plus 6d now a8 of the second progression will be a dash a dash plus 7d d is common only the first one is different now here what i will do is i will make a dash plus 3 instead of a I will write a dash plus 3 plus 6d is equal to n minus 1 that is 7 minus 1 6d here n minus 1 will be 8 minus 1 that will be 7d a dash plus 3 plus 6d is how much this is 28 and here a dash plus 7d is 29 29 now here I have two linear equations. One is a dash plus 6d is equal to 28 minus 3. So that is a dash plus 6d is equal to 25. This is one equation. The other equation is a dash plus 7d is equal to 29. Here nothing to be transferred. Nothing to be transferred here. Here you have got to transfer this 3 to the other side. So you have two simultaneous equations or two, uh, we have a pair of linear equa equa equations. The variables are a dash and 6d. Now you know that it can be found out by us how I here this has common coefficient coefficient here is 1, here also 1, the sign is positive in both of them, so I have to subtract one from the other. So if I subtract, this becomes minus, this becomes minus, this also becomes minus. Now plus a dash, minus a dash, they get cancelled, a dash is eliminated, 6d minus 7d, 6d minus 7d will be minus d is equal to 25 minus 29 that will be minus 4 minus 4 so d will be equal to 4 the common difference of both both of them is 4 right both of them is 4 the common difference is 4 now we got one of the variables now what i do i know a dash plus 7d, you take any one equation, is equal to 29. In this equation, what I do, I, I 
put this four there. So a dash will be equal to a dash plus seven into four will be equal to twenty nine. So a dash plus twenty eight. Is equal to twenty nine, or a dash is equal to twenty nine minus twenty eight. If this twenty eight goes other way, other side, so it will be a dash will be equal to one. Twenty nine minus twenty eight is one. Now a is a dash plus three, so that will be one plus three. That will become four. Now, now with these values. We can write the two progressions. So, what will be the first one? A. A is four. The first progression will be four. The second number will be four plus four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, etc., etc., etc. That will be the first progression. First AP. The second AP will be one, five. Five plus four nine, nine plus four thirteen, seventeen, etc. etc. So these are the two progressions. First progression is four eight, etc. Four eight twelve sixteen etc. The second AP is one five nine thirteen etc. Thirteen seventeen etc. So this will give you five marks. This problem will fetch you five marks. I hope. You have understood this. Little, it will be little complicated because it has more marks. You can expect it to be little more complex. The problem will be little complicated than the first one. The first problem was for just two marks. That was simple, straight question. Calculate the sum of twenty. Uh, first twenty now. Uh, first twenty numbers of the given series using the formula. It was a direct problem. It had only two marks. It carried only two marks. This is slightly this thing. Have you under? I hope you have understood that. If you have not, you can always ask me. Ask me to to explain it once again. Again, one more problem I'll take from the question paper only. The seventh term of an arithmetic progression. The seventh term of an arithmetic progression is four times the second term. Is four times the second term. A seven is equal to four a two, and twenty twelfth. And twelfth term is twelfth term is twelfth term is twelfth term is two more than two more than three times of fourth term two more than three times fourth term it is three a four plus two three a four plus two. Find the progression. This problem is of 2019 March, and it carries three marks. It carries three marks. Right now, here this is not. You have to read the question little carefully, and then form this. Now, A7 means you know. Let the let the AP be A, A plus B. A plus two D, etc., etc., etc. Let that be the progression. Now A seven is equal to four times A two. That means A plus six D is equal to four into A plus D. Second term will be A plus D. A plus one D. A seven will be A plus six D. So You will get a relationship here. A plus six D is equal to four A 
plus 4d, right? 4 into a, 4a, 4 plus, 4 into d is 4d. a plus 6d is equal to this thing. Now, if we send this to the other side, 4a plus 4d are there on that side, minus a minus 6d will be equal to 0. I am sending a and 6d to the other side. So 4a plus 4d minus a minus 6d will be 0. So here you get 4a minus a is 3a. 4d minus 6d is minus 2d is equal to 0. You got a linear equation between a and d. Two variables. There is two, There are two variables a and d. I got a relationship. Similarly, from this, I will get one more relationship. A12 is A plus 11D is equal to 3 into 3 times A4. A4 means A plus 3D plus 2. So, A plus 11D is equal to 3A plus 9D plus 2. So, 3a plus 9d minus a, I am sending this that side, minus a minus 11d uh, plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, 3a minus a is 2a, 2a plus 9d minus 11d is minus 2d minus 2d 2a plus my, uh, 2 uh, minus 2d is equal to is equal to minus 2 if i send that to that side minus 2 or 2 into 2 can be taken out as common factor a minus d is equal to minus 2 or a minus d is equal to minus 2 by 2 that is minus 1 you can get like that or I think we can have it this way only because in this equation also there is 2d in this equation also there is 2d we can have it like that so 2a minus 2d is equal to minus 2 we got now what I do minus I, I we need not do this we need not simplify we can have it like that 3a minus a is 2a 9d minus 11d is minus 2d. Now, here both are minus this 2d, 2d is there, they are equal, but the both are minus, so I have to subtract. I have to use subtraction. Here minus, here it becomes plus, here it becomes plus. Now, minus 2d plus 2d gets eliminated, that d will get eliminated. Two linear equations, 3a minus 2a is a, is equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. So, the f I got the first term of the AP. I got the first term. Now, by substituting this A value in one of the equations, I will get the value of D. Now, 3A minus 2D is equal to 0. Any one equation you take, 3A minus 2D is 0. Now, A is 2. So, 3 into 2 minus 2d is equal to 0. So, 6 minus 2d is 0. So, minus 2d is equal to minus 6 or d is equal to minus 6 by minus 2. Now, that will be plus 3. d is 3, plus 3. Now, therefore, the AP will be, AP is 2. What is the next term? a plus d, a plus d means 2 plus 3, that is 5, third term is a plus 2d, a plus 6, that is 8, third, fourth term will be 11, uh, like that it will go, next term will be 14. Now you check, a7, 14, a7 will be what, a plus 6d, correct? a plus 6d is a is 2 plus 6d 6d means 
6 into 3 18 so this will be 20 a 7 will be 20 what is a 2 a 2 is 5 4 into 5 is 20 it gets balanced this is correct a 12 will be a plus 11 d that is 2 plus 33 this will be 35 now 3 a 4 3 into a 4 is 33 plus 2 that is also 35 so they get balanced so our answer is correct 2 5 8 11 14 this is the required AP this is the required AP you have to write the required AP is 2 5 8 11 14 etc etc and that is the answer you have verified that whether it is correct or not so this problem carries 3 marks you will get all the 3 marks if you do it correctly okay we will continue in the next